channel i'm danusha if you haven't seen my first two videos go check it out i am a beauty and lifestyle blogger i've been blogging for about two years i first started off with like mainly beauty and i got into food travel wine anything lifestyle fun i really love makeup so today i'm actually going to talk to you about a brand that you all must you all must know it's called makeup revolution I have a few products that I'm going to chat to you from them from when they launched. They launched in October last year in South Africa, but it's actually a British brand and they've been in existence for 28 years. 28 whole years. So it is a very well known brand. If you search YouTube, you will find tons and tons of videos of Makeup Revolution. The reason why it's so widely loved is because it is really, really, really affordable products that you can access and they cater to all skin tones. So whether you're really, really light, really, really dark, they usually have quite a big spectrum that you can um, purchase from. They do eye makeup, they do brow stuff, eyeshadow palettes, lip kits, lipsticks. They do skincare, setting sprays, like they do it all. Whatever you make up in skincare wise, they have something for you. The thing is, they are just super affordable. Um, I don't know why it only came to South Africa now. Uh, we've been all beauty lovers around, <laughs> like, around South Africa. I have always loved Makeup Revolution. So when it launched last year i had to get products i had to get a few things just to see what is the hype about prior to that i hadn't actually gotten before this i hadn't gotten anything because they, it wasn't available so it's at clicks um they're having a three for two at the moment if you watch this video i think it's really really well you'll see by the end of my review whether you should go and try out something from them i am wearing full makeup revolution today one more thing about them is that they are known to make dupes they have to make dupes for like high-end products. They have like a dupe for Anastasia, Beverly Hills palette. They have dupes for like Kylie Lip Kit. Did I mention that they're cruelty-free? They are cruelty-free and they have a lot of vegan makeup. So if you're interested, if you really love cruelty-free stuff or you want to get more vegan makeup, then definitely go ahead um, and check out this brand. So basically today what I'm going to be talking about is the Self X palette, the original one. This is kind of what it looks like. There we go. And then I have the Lip Contour Retrolux Mac Lip Kit. This is the first time I'm doing this, guys. So if it doesn't focus, just, just don't mind me. And then I have concealers. It's the Revolution Conceal Concealer Define Concealers. This is what they look like. Let me just do that rather. Really pretty, like a rose gold kind of shade. So, brow Duo Brow Pencil. This is the Eyebrow Pencil. Of Revolution. Renaissance Flick Intense Long Wear Felt Eyeliner. This this is a long name. This, this is a really long But look at this. How gorgeous. Wow. First off, I'm going to start with the Self X palette. Self X palette is a collaboration with Self Does Nail. She's a YouTuber. Um, it's available in the sh in a mix of 14 different colors. They go from natural to glam. Um, using you can go to full glam using this essential daily palette. This sells for 250 and there's 24 shades in here, so it's, so it's just under 10 rand per shade. This is what the palette looks like. Um, it gets kind of dirty, it's like this classic packaging. It gets kind of dirty, so I had to clean it off with my like makeup remover. It's got this like beautiful gold, rose gold writing on it. It says so Revolution, so X. Focus. Um, they have it has mica and talc, which is a usual um, ingredient in there. It just has kind of more information on the back here. It's a 12 months that it expires in. It's um, owned by Tam Beauty, right? I don't think I mentioned that. 
Anyway, let's get to the good parts. Da -da -da -da. This is what the shadow or the pad looks like. It comes with this like sleeve that has all the shadow names on it, which is now filthy. But these are the shades in the palette itself. So you can see it goes from like um, light to darker, and then they have like a mix of um, mattes. Like these are some mattes here for a really good matte palette. You're, you're gonna love this because it has more matte than eyeshadow. I'm <laughs> for my face. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you, but before I get into it, I'm just gonna chat more about it. What I love most about this palette is the mattes in it. I am using the matte shade Danger. D for Danger. I missed it. It's just Danger. Okay, so now we can zoom you back out. Um, what I love about this, this, the mattes is that they are pigmented but not too pigmented in the sense that when you apply them they're not like oh, in your face and you can't blend it out you can just put a little bit and like go back and keep reapplying until you get the desired look so i probably would have reapplied this like three or four times to get the desired look that i wanted but i also did with it is i use it as a blush shade and I allow the eyes to match the blush to match the lipstick i just feel like it keeps it keeps the whole look seamless the shimmers in the palette but i just feel like it's not that great to apply with like you need to use your finger i feel like when you apply it with your finger they are much better okay so this is a close-up of the palette as you can see lots of shimmers are the swatches of the shimmer shades on my arm this is all this is eight shades from the palette and then i'm going to show you the other two but like you like you can see it's quite shimmery quite pretty quite pigmented okay these are the uh, matte shades I was actually wrong it is 14 matte shades and um, 10 shimmer shades uh, you can see it's quite good pigment but it's not the best some of them you can't really see on my arm these are not all of them the other few that you won't actually see on me so I don't bother swatching them um, but they are quite buttery and quite smooth and they are quite easy to work with so if you're looking for a quite affordable palette that's easy to work with, I would definitely recommend the Revolution Soap X palette. But like I showed you, I swatched some pictures and then I'll look, it gets dirty again. But there is another one that's called Tam Tammy X palette that I've been eyeing on, and that is a, that looks amazing. Um, but there's actually two Soap X palettes that they brought out. They brought out the second one this year and i feel like that one's a little bit better it looks a lot better in the reviews so you might want to get that one instead of this one although i do love it like i use it quite often uh, like the, the other one that has like the full rose good look the pigment on those shadows are better overall i still love this palette and i love that it comes with the mirror it's very convenient if you need to travel it's got all the shades that you could possibly need iconic revolution um concealers People have been ranting and raving about these. I love it. That's why I have two and not one. So first off, I bought the shade C12. And I do feel like this is a better shade for me. Because it's just a few shades, like two shades, or three shades lighter than my skin. Maybe two. And then this one is C10. And this is, I'm using more as a highlighting shade. Um, this one's newer. So I'm going to open this and show you exactly how it looks. So this is only 4 grams of product, it's got this really cool doe foot applicator, it's quite big so when you do use it, when you do apply it to under your eye, um, the consistency is quite like pigmented, it's very creamy, it dries down um, pretty nicely, it sets pretty well. This is the shade C10, the dupe for sh Shape Tape Concealer which is like the cult favourite concealer from Tarte um, these concealers are about 100 I would say 110 each for 4 grams of products so they only last me like under 3 months I don't use makeup every day or about 3 months and it is a little bit more pricey than say like Alec Girl but I do love it I love the finish I love the coverage it lasts the entire day it brightens up my under eye area you can see it, I'm using it now I have pretty bad dark circles and I use a color corrector but I use the C10 shade and I highlight it on my under eyes and my nose and yeah I love this concealer and I'll probably keep buying it so long as I can afford it. I really do think that it lives up to the hype and it's not that expensive it's just that it's a little product so 
it's up to you whether you decide to buy it or not but if you're looking for something good that's cruelty free affordable then give this a go um the only thing is there's up to 16 shades which you know you might struggle to find but the other thing is that the foundation came out not long ago but i couldn't find my shade because i'm actually 12.5 but they didn't bring um 12.5 in so i just washed it in my hand and i actually showed you guys so it looks like when it dries down and i showed you guys my insta stories and nothing's gonna match me and i'm not gonna buy two more foundations while i'm sitting with so many foundations so i would be like to make a makeup revolution please then i'll please bring in all of the other shades which would like we would love that next up is this eyeliner the renaissance eyeliner this is a hundred gosh i think it's also a hundred and like 10 20 i'm not sure but it's all on the clicks website this is like beautiful 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 it's got this like tip on it a really nice um, pointy tip and it's super it's quite fine the, the tip is quite fine on it and it's really black it's really really pigmented i'm just gonna swatch it there one line that's what it does super black it lasts the entire day it doesn't crumble it's easy to apply for me this is like the only eyeliner that i use because i don't do like black eyeliner all the time and i feel like this is really nice um it's easy to apply i mean i did mess up a bit earlier so i just used this q-tip and i just cleaned up under there but it creates the most gorgeous like the most gorgeous looking black 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 um eyeliner and you know the thing with eyeliner is you need to practice all the time and it's so beautiful like oh, i love this i would definitely purchase this so if you're looking for eyeliner go ahead and get the revolution eyeliner shin duo fiber brow pencil i think this is 79.95 um, this is in the shade dark brown so on one side it's got like the the spoolie is not the softest like spoolie that you can find like it's quite rough like it's not soft but it does the job i mean it's only 79.95 i think and the brown side is quite, quite pigmented so this is the shade dark brown you kind of need to like go easy on it otherwise it's going to look like your brows are completely unnatural it does stay the entire day um it doesn't get too oily on my brows or anything like that it, you can get hair like structure if you have a look at my brows i'm not the like best at doing brows but i think it does a pretty good job um, i cleaned it up with concealer as well um for an affordable brow pencil i really think this is worth it it's very easy to use and it's beginner friendly and there's not much else to say about it so we're going to be chatting about the retro Loft matte lip kit this is what it looks like and it sells for $124.95 this is in the shade oh there we go it's the shade royal so this is like similar to the Kylie lip kits I haven't tried the Kylie lip kits but this is a dupe for it it's okay like I don't have any problems with it I'm using the liner today it comes with this liner so all of them come with a liner and a lipstick so I really like this color. I've always been a fan of these purple, bright purple colors. I'm just going to swatch it a bit for you guys. The liner matches pretty well to it. I'm just putting it a few times. That's kind of like the shades. This is the liner and that's the lipstick. It dries down pretty matte. The thing is, I have so many lipsticks. I have tons of lipsticks. I'm not bragging anything. I'm just saying that. This is not like the greatest formulas that I've ever tried. So I kind of forget about it sometimes, but it's not a bad formula. It dries down pretty mad. I do love this color. So when I do use it, I'm like, oh, wow, this is great. Like, why didn't I use it for so long? Uh, I love this purple on my shade. For reference, I'm NC45 in MAC. Um, this is the normal regular size for a lipstick. The applicator is the normal doe foot applicator it's easy to apply it's very pigmented it lasts the entire day it doesn't crack off and if it does it's very graceful the liner is not the creamiest i've used but i do still um i do like the color of it i don't mind it at all um today i used a little bit of the liner but i didn't use the lip because it just didn't go with the look but yeah overall like i would have filmed the whole makeup revolution kind of look 
if I had all the products, but I can't find a foundation to match me. They are highlighters, they are blushes, there's palettes, there's contours. So I think that if you are looking for other stuff and you're my shade, you will definitely find a whole lot of other stuff. But if you're looking for complexion products like concealers and foundations, you might struggle. The concealers are okay, but with the foundations, you might struggle quite a bit. I really, I really, really, really like these products. I think they're quite good for like the price. Cruelty free. Oops. The fact that it's cruelty free. And yeah, like go, go try the range shop. Is that clicks? It's available. And yeah. Obviously, I bought all these products myself. They were not being sent to me. I feel like I have to have a disclaimer. And I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. So my makeup is, you know, self taught. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please like, leave me a comment, subscribe to my channel. I'd love to see you back here again. And let me know what you want to see on my channel and visit my blog. If you don't know me, if you haven't watched me before, or haven't seen me before, go have a look at my blog so you can find out just a little bit more about me. Thank you so much for watching.